the 201st Squadron, the Aztec Eagles, the history of the Mexican pilots who fought in World War II. This is a reading excerpt from the book. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, no. I doubt that you're ready. Holly here on the slant. Make sure you are subscribed to the channel, that you're enjoying all the videos. Please let your family and friends know that you're here. And uh, that would be wonderful. Consider becoming a member of the channel. We have a lot of perks. Check them out in the video links below. Um, this is a, uh, an addendum video to the article written by the Daily Cello. So make sure you check out that video as well on a bit of history that a lot of us, including myself, were not privy to, which were a group of 30 brave Mexican souls who fought during World War II um, in um, the Pacific. Now, um, it was no doubt the article was uh, in regards to this book that just came out, and it's available here on Amazon. And um, there is uh, a, uh, a free preview here which I thought would be amazing. I was reading some of it. I'm like, I got to share it with you guys, um, especially your history buffs. I think it's, uh, I'm, I'm definitely going to order it. So as I'm doing this, please, uh, uh, as we're reading along with this, uh, with, this, uh, with this piece of work, comment. Let me know what you think about this history. Uh, if you have any extra history, that would be great to know. So here we go. The 201st Squadron, the Aztec Eagles, the history of the Mexican pilots who fought in World War II by Gustavo Vasquez Lozano. All right. So here is the first couple of pages. And the squadron, the Aztec Eagles. Fantastic uh, artwork there with, with the uh, the Aztec with what I believe is Olive Branch. I will make sure to find out what that is. Here's a photo of them in training. And I believe, uh, I believe a, a, uh, there was a few that didn't make it. Um, and here's some, uh, this is just a stunning photo of <laughs> this Mexican eagle just tearing up the Yahtzee flag. And uh, let's read the introduction. Forgotten heroes. A hero's welcome, 1945. In the April of 1945, just before the end of the Second World War, when it was clear who would triumph in Europe, Mexico sent an air contingent, a contingent to fight shoulder to shoulder with the Allied forces. Its name was the 200... 201st Fighter Squadron, the six-year war uh, that had wrought so much havoc would be over in just three months. The group of Mexican pilots flew through the last rapidly closing gap in order to finish on the side of the victors. The Mexican Expeditionary Air Force, FIAM, the only Mexican armed detachment ever to fly overseas, comprised 300 members from all over the country, from very young men to veterans of the revolution. Its arrival in the Far East was a shot in the arm for the Allies uh, on the brutal Pacific Front. The 30 pilots who made up the air squadron did not fight Nazi Germany or Italian fascism, but Japanese imperialism in Luzon and Formosa. Their participation was brave and honorable, albeit modest and limited to geographically to the Philippines and the South China Sea. The mission dripped with symbolism. During colonial times, the Philippines had administrated from New Spain, modern-day Mexico, and there were, and still are, multiple cultural social links between the two peoples. Mexicans had read of the atrocities of the Japanese occupation in the newspapers and the battle to liberate the archipelago, and archipelago excuse me, uh, was a cause that they could get behind. The best of the Mexican Air Force arrived in the Far East to form part of the end of the biggest naval battle in history. Under the, com under the command of the legendary General Douglas MacArthur, to a large extent, it was the vision of the American ambassador to Mexico, 
George Messersmith, who recognized this historic opportunity which made the involvement of the Mexican contingent possible. Not forgetting Me Mexico's president, Manuel Avila Camacho, who offered a backup to the United States as well as securing the moral support of the entire hemisphere, Avila Camacho was the last soldier to serve as Mexican president, and as such, he knew about war. Although this has never been officially acknowledged, he saw the opportunity for his country to participate in the redistribution of territory following the Allies' victory, and at a chance at a peace of the Philippines themselves. Who would have predicted what the state of the international relations would be once the horror was over? The great adventure of the 201st Squadron was hastily added. Was a hastily added footnote, a small Mexican coda in a on a worldwide conflagration that was already coming to an end. Back home, the exploits of the 30 pilots in charge of those Republic P-47 Thunderbolts had society in a state of excitement, and the faraway location lent any news of them a heroic legendary air. Upon their return from the front, they were greeted triumphantly in Mexico City. Streets were named after them, and a col colossal monument was erected in their honor at Chapulte Chapultepec Forest, Mexico's place of heroes and martyrs. But once a frenzy had passed, the young pilots were forgotten. In textbooks from their own country, they occupied at best a few lines and perhaps a tiny paragraph. Many young people had never heard of them. Naturally, the Second World War would have ended the same way with or without their input. Their triumph lay not in the bombs they dropped on Luzon or Formosa, nor in the homages paid to them at home, nor in the kisses planted on them by young Filipino women immortalized in black and white photographs. Their greatest achievement was somewhat less ostentatious, but it was to prove more enduring the 201st Squadron enabled Mexico to join the ranks of nations who lost sons on the battlefield and leave an unaffected group of neutral countries. This changed things for Mexico. Wow. Don't forget to please comment as we read along. I hope you're enjoying this. Uh, let's continue. The sacrifices of those who fought against the Japanese empire earned Mexico the respect of conquering powers and brought the country a one-way ticket to modernity, modern, modernity, a voice in the global post-war negotiations, specifically a place among the 49 founders of the United Nations and the Security Council in 1946, and above all, an improvement to its hitherto hostile relationship with the U.S., for the first time in the two countries' history, they had joined forces against a common enemy. When those young Mexicans had entered the United States through uh, Laredo in 1944, they had been looked down on and viewed with mistrust. On their return to Los Angeles in 1945, however, they were welcomed with open arms and floral displays. It would not be an exaggeration to state that it was at that moment that the modern diplomatic relationships between Mexico and the United States was born. This new collaboration had innumerable benefits for Mexico. The end of the war headed, heralded a long period of economic growth and peacetime for the country, which was to last nearly three dec decades. However, the movement towards the demilitarization of politics and government regulated the 201st Squadron to the status of mere anecdote. Mexicans historian, historians showed little interest in the squadron. It became a subject more for television, radio, and comic strips, often with historically inaccurate and unrealistic stories. Over in the United States and other allied countries, soldiers of the Second World War became the greatest generation. In Mexico, they were all soon but forgotten. They were soon all but forgotten. The election of the first civil president, Ma, Ma, Miguel Aleman, inaugurated an era of attorneys the era of attorneys. Presidents graduated from law school and with a final flourish, it brought to a close the age of military men as presidents. This is a history told for the first time of the 201st Squadron and the 30 pilots out of hundreds who volunteered, who won their place to fight in the sky, skies and contribute, albeit modestly, to the fall of the Rome-Berlin-Tokyo Axis. Using unedited sources, declassified reports, old military files, and testimonies of the pilots and other contemporary witnesses, this new edition of the book revives important characters in order to detail the intricacies of the mission, heroic facts, and the tragedies 
and analyze the legacy of the 201st Squadron like never before. Wow. Fantastic. Uh, let us uh, pause there. Remember to uh, comment. Let us know what you think of this bit of uh, great history that's so connected to the United States and to uh, the veterans of World War II and, and their um, their descendants. And we'll continue uh, Chapter 1 on the next video. Until then, hope you enjoyed this video. Please share it. Please like. And we'll see you a la próxima with the Aztec Eagles. Come on, y'all. Come on, y'all. Come on, y'all. It's lying. Yeah, but isn't this the unplugged version? I don't know. I think, I think it's the unplugged version. All right, Power, let's go. Jeez. That's better. <laughs>